Thank you. Welcome back to The Dr. Ding Show, where this week we will attack a very sensitive subject, teaching your children about sex. Now, you've been putting this off for years, but now is the perfect time to have this discussion with your loved ones in that you have their undivided attention and there's no chance they can put anything they learned today to use for many months. Now, to give you an understanding of how an expert handles the questions that inevitably arise, I have invited several authentic neighborhood children to join us via video conference. Let's meet those children now. First, Lisa. Hi, Dr. Dean. I'm seven and I live up the street. Lisa, welcome to the show. Next, Homer. Homer, are you there? Huh? Huh? Oh, great. And lastly, Wendy. Wendy, welcome to the show. Hi, Dr. Pickles. I'm 15 and I already know a lot about sex. Wendy, for the course of the show, I would appreciate it if you would refer to me as Dr. Ding. Whatever. Thank you. Now, children, first let me state that sex is a very broad subject. Because we have limited time today, we will have to restrict the conversation. We will not be talking about reproduction or what some people call the birds and the bees. We will only be talking about recreational sex. We will also not talk about various positions, deviant practices, or fetishes. This will just be about the basics, okay? Now, first, I'd like to begin. Does anyone have Dr. any questions? Dang? Go ahead, How did you Lisa. learn about sex? Well, Dr. Ding first learned about sex when I was your age. Now, keep in mind, this was before the internet where you could watch a YouTube video or just listen to our president. No, this was back in the days where one learned by looking at magazines that one found under your brother's bedroom. Later in high school, I learned that sex did not always involve two people. In college, I learned that two people could have sex, but they didn't need to be of the same gender. And so you could have two boys having sex, you could have two girls having sex, you could have all four of them having sex. You could have two girls and one boy, or two boys and, well, you get the idea. Now, all of this changed this year with the advent of the coronavirus. Now that we're in home isolation, Recreational sex, which typically happens between two people who barely know each other, must be handled remotely. And to accomplish this, a demonstration is in order. We will go to the Dr. Ding lab where I will be joined by my lab assistant, Lulu, who will help me demonstrate remote sex. Now, Lulu is very old fashioned. She prefers to use the old fashioned phone sex, but today we will be demonstrating the newest form of sex called Zoom sex. Let's move to the lab now. Before we begin the actual demonstration, I would like to provide a quick chalk talk to cover the three T's that are essential to sex. They are touching, talking, and trying new things. I will highlight them in this demonstration. Let's begin. Now, you should be able to see on screen what I'm seeing through my goggles. I will start with the first T, touching. And now Lulu will touch me. While touching each other, we will also begin talking, the second T. Lulu, I am very much enjoying this. Oh, me too, Dr. Ding. And now for the third T, trying new things. Lulu, would you like to try the buffing wheel? Oh, yes, please. And now Lulu will suggest something that I might wish to try. Doctor, would you like to put on the handcuffs? Lulu, we did that last week. Could we use the voltmeter this time? And remember, kids, if during sex you ever encounter no, you must stop immediately. That, children, is sex. Now I'm sure there are questions. Homer? How old do you have to be to have that? Well, professionals all agree, and I concur, that 30 is the minimum age for having sex. Next -uh. question. -uh. Lisa? No. How long does it last? Yes, that was a quick demonstration. However, we have found in the lab that most men really only prefer sex for three minutes, whereas women prefer it for a little bit longer. And time for, we have time for one last question. Wendy. When are you going to talk about reproduction? 
Wendy, we will potentially by August, if we have run out of every other subject, we might have a, an episode uh, related to reproduction. Okay, thank you children for joining us. And to all of you at home, I hope you took copious notes. Tune in next week where Dr. Ding will attack the subject of how to keep busy while in home sequestration. Thank you again. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.